to you by Subway. Last night, Japan, seven runs in the first two innings and beat Puerto Rico, Texas, all over Connecticut, 14 to one. And Yomar Valentin, four for five, two home runs in the tournament. He's been tremendous. Elimination games today between Washington and Connecticut, Puerto Rico and Mexico. Puerto Rico and Mexico, 4 Eastern on ESPN, Washington and Connecticut, 8 Eastern. How about Jake Orlando, 6 for 6, couple of home runs. And our game here is we go to the 4th, and it is tied at 1. Johnny Viseri, the pitcher up here. This is the sixth Little League World Series appearance for Minnesota. The first, though, for a team from the Plymouth New Hope Little League. Huh? Plymouth New Hope, town, just about 73,000 people, located 12 miles northwest of downtown Minneapolis. Yeah, they overcome a lot just to get here. I mean, they. In districts, they had they lost their first game, and they were facing six straight elimination games. Got past that, and then once they got past district, they were able to do extremely well in regionals to get here. And a base hit right field for Johnny Vasseri. So the leadoff man aboard in the fourth, and fans. ESPN 2's coverage of Major League Baseball. Four teams in the thick of the playoff on first Monday Night Baseball. 10 Eastern tonight, the Reds and the Giants. And then the Twins face off against the Rangers on ESPN 2's Wednesday Night Baseball. That's at 8 Eastern. Tonight it'll be Matt Cain and Edinson Volquez in that Reds-Giants matchup. They're going to use a pinch hitter right here. It'll be James Ripley. And Ripley will hit for Lucas Wenzel. And again, Mikey Siegel will be the special pinch runner. We've seen him do all those flips. I don't think he ever gets tired. First. James Ripley you talked about their road to Williamsport at the state tournament they were down in the sixth inning 9-6 and it was Ripley that had the walk-off hit and that's how they culminated their state championship with a 10-9 win What a time, though, for all the kids. Minnesota representing the Midwest. They beat South Dakota in the championship. Thank you. Ripley down on strikes, and there is one away. Now the kids enjoying themselves, the fans as well. He's got himself some autographs there. Yeah. Ah. Go, it's so neat to see here the fans when they come here to the Little League World Series. It's not always just a mad where you're from that you're, you're supporting. You, you, they come here and they find themselves embracing teams that they just like playing. They might like the color of the uniforms, and they and they just support every single team, and whether from the United States, abroad. They just—it's such a great environment. You could hear our plate umpire Keith Peterson talking to the catcher Daniel Harrington, saying, "Nice stop." That's one of the things you see here, sportsmanship all over. And Tyler Ullman 
can finish off this batter. The max he can throw is 85. Ball. So he is allowed to go over 85 pitches to finish this at bat against Gabe Gower, but then Ullman will be done. And Germany will have to find another pitcher. That's a foul ball. And also a note when you mentioned about Daniel Harrington back there doing a great job at catching. Catchers as well, they catch four innings. They're not allowed to go into the game after catching four innings. But Daniel Harrington is not eligible to pitch today. And uh, so he can catch the entire game. Oh. Germany's the bloody nose game. Kyle Foley injured in a celebration out there at second after they turned to double play. And Daniel Harrington got a little cotton in the nose as well. Not sure if it was a celebration related injury that caused his nose. <laughs> They are a tight-knit group. Maybe he just wanted to say, hey, Kyle, you're not the only one, buddy. I want to be, you know, I support you. You got cotton, I have cotton. We're a team here. <laughs> I will have two feelings. 1-1 <laughs> one game here, top of the fourth. Consolation game at Pool D. First time Germany's gotten a chance to play a U.S. team. First time Minnesota's gotten to play an international team. 16 teams here in Williamsport. Eight U.S., eight international. That's Rick left field. And coming on to make the catch is who caught a nice play. That was absolutely ripped. And now it'll be Gary Harrington coming out of the dugout to make that pitching change. All right, so here's what we, we talked about with this tournament. Minnesota, New Jersey, Saudi Arabia, Germany. Those teams have been eliminated. Texas and Japan have advanced. And you have matchups coming up between Ohio and Georgia. And look at the one-loss teams as well. Pitching change here at Lomini. So we'll take a break with them. Thank you. 